Now in this video, we'll talk about the VTP version 3, uh, which was introduced in the new iOS versions and also in as a part of the CCI routing switching version 5 exams. What are the major enhancements in the VTP in the version 3? We'll, we'll talk about that. Majorly, uh, we'll discuss about some of the important points here and verification probably we'll see in the next video. Now in this video, I'm going to only focus on, on some of the major enhancements and the lab verification we'll be doing in a separate video. So let us start with the first one. Now VTP version 3 is going to provide a protection against the data overrides. Now that is one of the major enhancement here. Now data overrides means, let's take an example. If, if you just get back to the old version VTP, VTP version 1 or version 2, the update of the information is done based on the revision number. Let's say in my company, I have a revision number of 50 and probably uh, there is a switch going down and then you added a new switch uh, probably which is in a storeroom probably added that switch which is used for testing and if you don't realize that the revision number if the revision number of that particular switch is higher than uh, your existing revision number in that case all the switches will come and they, they all update the database VLA, the VTP information with the with the VLAN information whatever is present here okay so that's something it's no more now, in case of previous versions, the latest information is based on the revision numbers. Now, whichever the switch is having the higher revision number, that will be considered as the updated information. But in case of VTP version 3, it's not like that. Now, in case of VTP version 3, it's going to define some roles for the switches. Like, if I have some switches here, we can define any ones. Uh, normally, we can configure the default mode will be server. And we can have some clients. And the clients are exactly the same. Servers are almost same, but there is a slight difference. Now we can make any one specific server as a primary server. Now in the VT within the VTP domain, you can have only one primary server. And that primary server is only responsible for updating the VLAN information. So which means you can only make changes on this particular primary server. You cannot make changes on the normal server also. The default is secondary server, that is a normal server and the normal server cannot create any VLANs. So if, if this particular uh, switch, now, now every client and the server will know who is the primary and if the VLAN information is coming from that part of primary, uh, then only they will uh, update in the database because every, every switch knows the primary ID. There is something called primary ID. We'll be verifying that in the lab. Will be the MAC address of the primary switch. Now every device knows the primary ID of that particular switch. And if that uh, information is updated from this primary switch, in that case, only it will be updated. So the primary server can only make changes and you can have only one primary server. So which means in this version three, it is going to fix the configuration revision number, the higher configuration revision number updating the switches. And that is something no more in the version three. Now, apart from that, there is one more major enhancement here in the version three is, now in case of version one or version two, if you talk about the VTP, uh, there is something called extended VLANs. The default uh, normal VLANs are 2 to 1005 and from 1006 to 4094, these are extended VLANs. Now in case of older versions, this extended VLAN is supported only on if you are running a transparent mode. So the, the VTP mode has to be transparent if you want to support this extended VLANs. And this extended VLAN information is not propagated or not advertised to other switches. So this is what in the version uh, two we can say, but in case of version three, we can we can create the extended VLANs. That's what we can use, and also we can propagate that extended VLAN information uh, inside the VTP advertisements. So which means now the now it's no more restricted. You know you can also. Uh, exchange or advertise the VLAN information, which is extended VLANs as well. And there's one more enhancement here. And apart from that, uh, other thing is, if you go back to the version two, uh, probably in the version two, we can only advertise the VLAN information, which means whatever the VLANs I create on the server and that particular VLAN information will be propagated to all the remaining servers or the clients. But in case of VTP version three, not only we can propagate the VLAN information, in that VLAN, we can propagate the normal VLANs as well as extended VLANs. But in case of version 2, it's a normal VLANs only. No extended VLANs are propagated. 
and apart from that we can also uh, exchange or we can also propagate the MST configurations. Now probably MSTP uh, multiple spanning tree it's a separate topic we'll be discussing in the spanning uh, spanning tree topics but in that uh, what generally in that we create some multiple instances of for, for a group of VLANs. But in case of um, normal switches in the previous versions you have to go to each and every switch and create that instances. But that is something not required in the version 3. Now what I can do is in case of version 3 we are going to create the MST configurations on one switch and also it will replicate to all the remaining switches automatically. So which means VDP version 3 not only replicate or uh, update the information of the VLANs, it also updates the VLAN in information about the MST configurations. So just you have to make changes on the on one switch, primary switch again here, and it's going to update all the remaining switches, other servers and clients. And not only that, even you can also uh, exchange the private VLAN information. Now even in the in case of previous version, normal normal switches, we we used to create the private VLANs, and that private VLANs is only supported in the transparent mode. And this private VLAN information will not be propagated again by default. But it's no more. Now in the version 3, we can also create some primary, primary private VLAN configurations like you can create what are prim primary VLANs and secondary VLANs and then you can associate them. And you just configure on one switch and it's going to replicate on all the switches. So the major enhancement in the version 3 is you can not only uh, propagate the VLAN information, you can also propagate the MSTP information or MSTP configurations as well as the private VLAN configurations also. So there's one more um, enhancement here. So three things and then there is one more thing we can enable VTP password, show VTP password in a hidden text. Like normally uh, in case of version 2 we generally go to config mode and we configure the password VTP password and then give the password. Now anyone can see this password by giving a command called show VTP password. Because the password when I give show VTP password it will be shown in a clear text by default. Okay that is something default behavior. So but in case of version 3 we have an option that we can configure VTP password and some password and we can write as hidden. So when I write as hidden, in that case, what happens is the password will not be displayed in a clear text if anyone issues a command called show VTP status. So that's, that's password protection is also added here in the VTP version 3. And one more thing you can enable uh, VTP version, you can disable VTP version 3 on one particular switch by using VTP mode off globally or we can enable on specific interface. Let's say I, want, I have a port number 10 and I don't want VTP advertisements to be sent or received on that particular interface. We can simply go and disable VTP on that specific interface instead of enabling globally. So either there are multiple options we can disable globally VTP or we can, we can just uh, disable on a specific interface. Now these are the enhancements we have in the version 3 and the default roles uh, in case of uh, VTP, you have a still transparent mode. It's the same thing where you can uh, make some changes. We can save the configurations. We can also, uh, we can also, it will also propagate or advertise. Whereas in case of off mode, we can make some changes. Uh, we can save them, but it will not advertise the information. Whereas a client mode, we cannot make any changes. We cannot save anything, but still we can propagate the information from one switch to another switch, one client to another client. Whereas in case of server, primary server and the secondary server, let's say in my network I have multiple servers. So server 1, server 2, server 3. Out of these three, any one can be a primary server. And that is something we can make any one server as a primary server. Now whichever the server, uh, whichever the switch you make it as a server, that particular switch only can make changes. Whereas you cannot make any changes on the other servers. So automatically other servers will be referred as secondary servers. Okay. So, and one more major difference, uh, server and the client are exactly almost same, but there's one difference is on the normal server, it will save the configurations, but in the client mode, it will not save the configurations. Apart from that, both are same. So secondary server and client are same because in both of this, they do advertise, 
but you cannot make any changes in both of them. But the only difference is the secondary server will store all the configurations permanently, whereas the client will not save the configurations. Okay, so and you can have only one primary server in the network, you cannot have more than one. And you can have multiple uh, secondary servers and you can have multiple clients transparent and you can have off mode as well.